Hello, today we're going to look at interfaces within C Sharp and Unity and we're going to look at how we can use them and what they are. And so the scripts that I've got up right now, this is an interface, you can tell that by the interface keyword we've used there instead of class. Um, it's called iRepairable. You know, uh, you'll notice if you ever make an interface, the standard convention is to have a capital I at the beginning, then the name of whatever it is. And then we've got void repair and bool fully repaired. Now all an interface is, it's just a contract really, and anything that implements an interface has to have these two methods implemented as well. So if we have a look at something that does r implement iRepairable, let's have a look at our Kai, see here, we're inheriting, well we inherit from thing, but then we're also implementing the iRepairable interface. And then you can see there, there's our repair method and there's our fully repaired method. And you have to have these. I'll show that now. If I just comment this out, I'll comment them both out and save it. We should get an error in Unity. Yeah. Card does not implement the interface member repair. So whenever you implement from an interface, so I say it's like a contract. You have to fulfill your half of the contract and you have to implement all uh, these methods. Uh, so it seems pretty straightforward. I know that's what I thought when I first only, when I certainly first saw it. So let's have a look at what we might use it for. Now again, I'm using uh, I'm sort of referencing the RTS game here in a way we can use it. So this iRepairable interface, this is going to be implemented on anything that is repairable. So you can imagine if in an RTS game you've got a not you've got something selected and you hover over the repair building. Um, if it's repairable, it usually come up with the green flashing light saying, yeah, go, on, go ahead, repair. If it's not repairable, it'll come up with like a circle with a red thing through it saying, no, you can't repair it. So how do we determine it? How do we determine whether it's repairable or not? Well, I've made a base class here. It's just called Thing. Um, and anything that inherits from Thing will inherit this is repairable methods. And that just checks if it contains the iRepairable interface. So if it has the iRepairable interface, this will return true. If it doesn't have the iRepairable interface, it will return false. And then I've derived two things from thing. I've got tree 2. I'm not sure, sure why I've called it tree 2. Have I got tree 1? No. Um, so tree 2 derives from thing. Of course, a tree is not going to be repairable. We can't do that. Uh, so you can see here, I've, I've just set this to so WordPress space bar. We'll just log if it's repairable or not. Uh, and then for the car, again, so we're deriving from thing. Now, car implements are repairable. Um, and then you can see here, we're saying if it's if it's repairable, so that's calling the uh, the method from the base class. If it's repairable, then we'll get we'll get hold of the repairer. The repairer is this thing here. Um, so again, I'm using co uh, core routines as well for this. Uh, so this repairer, basically, whenever it accepts a vehicle, it will set that vehicle to the current vehicle and it will start the routine, the c this core routine and that, so that core routine is just uh, after so much time defined by here we will repair it, repair the vehicle and you can see here this is the repair method um, I've done it like this because you'd have each vehicle would control how much health it receives independently that's up to the vehicle to decide uh, but it's up to the repairer to decide the gap between each repair function. So that's why it's been set up like this. And then we can show you this. So I've got the tree 2 script. Again, the, the, it would have been implemented like this in real life. The repair would be obviously attached to another game object. I've just done it like this to show it off. Um, so we've got our repair and we've got our tree 2 script. Now our tree 2 script, it doesn't implement our repairable. If we have a look at it. It only derives from things. So when we press space bar now, you see it's just, it, it's false. It's not repairable exactly what we'd expect. Now when we put the car on, so remember this, uh, oh no, 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 no. Um, yeah, so car, when we press the space bar, we're going to tell the repairer that this vehicle has arrived. And you can see there, when I press space bar, it starts working, 665, 70, 75, 80, it should, it'll stop as well when the health gets, because oh. uh, remember this, I repairable has to have a fully repaired function and then so we say if the current vehicle is fully repaired then we'll stop and you can see that oh you see it, it should stop when it gets to 100 and you see that it said finish re uh, repairing as well so, so a really nice feature of its interfaces because it means we can just attach them to things 
uh, we can tell if a class implements an interface and then if it does we can get the methods of that interface and use it on the class um, so you, I mean, you're probably thinking oh this is really similar to inheritance and you are right it is really similar but there's two big differences the first one is that interfaces can't contain any code like any implementation sort of methods it's just a method signature that's all it provides is the contracts and the method signature uh, with inheritance like here obviously you can uh, implement some hard code and that so if, um, if your object if there's, there's going to be common code between a lot of different objects you're probably going to want to put it in inheritance but if the code's going to be unique to each different object but they'll share some same functions and you want to be using interfaces and the other big thing as well uh, that you can do with interfaces is that you can implement more than one interface unlike inheritance where you can only inherit one thing you can implement quite a large amount mm. potentially a limitless amount of interfaces so let's see some other interface that coming up to you and we could have this I'm enumerable if you wanted uh, we'd have to again we'd, if we inherit that I'm enumerable we'll have to implement some, implement some methods you see there we'd have to implement get enumerator method type turns that returns uh, an enumerator so yeah that's a quick introduction to interfaces and how they can be used thanks for watching